So our ratio depends on the cation exchange capacity of your soil. With a low cation exchange capacity, you'll need a little bit more magnesium. Those are your sandy type soils. With high cation exchange capacity, you're going to need a bit more calcium. They are your clay soils. And typically speaking, we want to see our calcium to magnesium ratios around 7 to 1. That's around 68% calcium and around 10% magnesium. Yeah, and we just showed you a paper from the very person that started it. We showed you two different graphs, the calcium magnesium and alfalfa yield. Not a damn thing happened. All the way from 2 all the way out to 15 or 16 in, in, in turf grass soils. They've gone from 1 all the way out to 100 to 1 and still had perfectly acceptable turf grass and all the ratios in between. Okay? This has been done on turf grass. And I go, and go back and look at the, the playlist. You can see the, the episodes that I've gone over where I've shown that before in the, in the literature. They've, they've looked at that and there's, as of yet, there's not any evidence to support any interest or any, uh, any management practice that involves trying to balance out the calcium, magnesium, and turf grass systems.